You see, compared to God, we have no strength. We must be aware of our weakness as well, because when we are aware of this, we will stay humble. We must be aware that we cannot do this by ourselves, but we need the Word of God. We need the Spirit of God. We need Father God on our side. Amen. We need all of heaven's help. Come on, we are weak. Come tell the person next to you, do you know that you're weak? <laughs> Never. You see, there's a good thing that comes through weakness. It's the thing that follows on that is called dependency. The minute that I feel I don't need my wife or I don't need my husband, I'm in trouble. The minute that I feel like I don't need other people in the church, I'm in trouble. You see, God made us even dependent on each other. That's why we call the body of Christ. The body has different parts and different functions, and therefore we need each other, and we need God more than anything else. Yet you have kept my word and have not denied my name. Amen. Even though you're weak, you've kept my word, you've held on to Jesus, you've kept on preaching, you've kept on declaring, you've kept on praying, and you did not deny the name of Jesus. Because the Bible says if you deny Christ before men here, he will deny you before his Father in heaven. Amen. Is there times that you felt like giving up? Oh, yes. Were there times in your life that you said, I have given up on God and church and all these things? Oh, yes. We have these things come our way. And there's times that we say, I'm finished with this. I'm not going back to that place. I don't want to hear anything about the church or the Christianity or what Christ has done for me. It doesn't work. How many of you have been there? Online? Any of you there? Any of you in the service, you've been there? Been there? Yes. Been down to the dumps. Been down like Job sitting on the ash heap, scratching his sores, saying, oh, Lord, where are you? But I still believe that you're there, Lord. I still believe that you can come through. I still believe that the door is still open. I still believe the good news of the gospel. I still believe that there's a tomorrow. I still believe that joy will come in the morning even though there's tears through the night. I still believe, Lord, that you are my Savior. I still believe that you've got everything in your hands. I still believe that I can trust in you, that you are faithful to your word. Amen. Will you believe with me today that there's an open door? That's ready for a community to be changed, for a country to be changed, for a world to be changed. The door is open. The good news is that the door is open. Who told you that the door is shut? The enemy put a lie in your mind. 